Hi everyone, my name's Juliette and today I'm going to talk about collections in Scrivener. These are kind of like customised versions of your binder. You might want to have a different version of your ebook for different retailers. Or when you're creating your novel, you might want to separate out all the scenes from a particular character or about a particular topic to look at them in isolation. If you're writing non-fiction and you have clients, you might want to create a different version of your book with different sections in and different front and back matter for your different clients. To create a collection, click on the folder on the toolbar. You'll see that your binder changes and that there's now a tab that says search. There are two different types of collections and one of them is this search. To create this kind of collection, go to your toolbar and the search function. If you look at the pull down menu there, you'll see all the different things you can search on. So if you're using labels or statuses, you could search on those. But I'm just going to search for the word book. You'll see a couple of examples come up. Now I'm going to change it to draft. If I now want to save this collection, I need to go back to the search and click on the pull down menu and select save search as collection. You can also create collections manually using the plus at the top of the binder. For this type of collection, you drag items from your binder across into it and they will appear in the order that you drag them across. You can always rearrange them, but that's only for the collection. They'll stay the same in the binder. The binder is your master document, so anything you change there will change in your collection. For example, if I add final draft, the search collection will now pick that up. If I change the text in the binder, that will be reflected in the collection and vice versa. However, you can't do all of the editing options in a collection. For example, you can't create new folders and new documents. That's exclusive to the binder. If you want to delete something from a manual collection, just click on the item and you'll see there's a little minus within the collection. Click on that and it will be deleted, but only from your collection, not from your binder. So let's say you want to make a printout or an ebook from your collection. Go to Compile and where you see Manuscript, click on the pull down and you'll see all your collections listed. You just have to select the one you want and proceed as normal. Don't forget, if you want front and back matter, you'll have to add that into your binder and drag it across. You can have as many versions as you want. If you want to hide the collections again, just click on that folder on the toolbar. I hope you can visualise how you might be able to use collections with your manuscript. Because this one's quite complex, I'm going to do a very quick summary. To create a collection, click on the folder on the toolbar. There are two kinds of collections, search collections and manual collections. Any editing you do in the binder will be reflected in the collection and some editing can be done in the collection, which will be reflected in the binder. You can create print out some books from your collections. Now, go play. It's the only way you'll get your head around this one. If you want any more information on Scrivener, check out this playlist. Thank you for watching, and if you've subscribed, I'll see you next time.